Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at unofficial build of Lineage OS 16.0 for OnePlus 6. So this will be the first look of your ROM. Let me show you the software information. Going to system, about phone. Here it says device name is unknown. After that, going down to Android version. Android version is Android 9.0, Lineage OS is 16.0 and the build date is 9th 9.2018 with a security patch of 5th September 2018 and the vendor security patch is 5th June 2018. So guys, I've been using this ROM since a while and as of now this ROM is not meant to be a daily driver if you guys are planning to use it as a daily driver but good thing about this ROM is Volti services are working fine. So let me show you here. I select my Geo SIM card for calling and here you can see call gets connected without any kind of issues and this is your quick setting panel, volume slider and the power menu. This ROM comes along with applications like audio effects, snapdragon camera and recorder app. So taking a look at the camera application which is working fine but slightly laggy, you can able to click pictures with no issues. But video recording seems to be having issues here. And here you can see. Video recording is a problem on this ROM. You guys can try Google camera application, but I have not tested that. Other than that, going inside the settings, Network and internet, Wi-Fi is working fine, Bluetooth also seems to be working fine. Going inside the battery, you get battery manager, battery saver and performance mode in which you can enable extreme power saver or you can choose automatic power saver as per the battery percentage. Then under display we have brightness level, night light which can be turned on but that is not working as of now. Live display also seems not to be working here. Then under advanced we have option of style under which you can choose the theme according to the wallpaper according to time of the date or you can choose from light and dark. And also have options to change the ascent color. Later we also get options like full screen application, ambient display under which you have only pulse notification that is pickup notification and this is working fine. Then you have tap to wake on the screen which also seems to be working fine. Tap to sleep on the status bar and prevent accidental touch. Under security and privacy fingerprint is working fine with no issues. So I have unrolled my fingerprint and let's lock the device and see. And as you can see the device unlocks instantly with no lags. After that we also have digital well-being pre-installed on this so you don't have to manually install it. Then under system we have buttons in which you can enable navigation bar. We also have few gestures available which includes touch screen gestures. So let's try one of the touch screen gestures. And touch screen gestures are working fine here. We have jump to camera option along with swipe up on home button. And by default file transfer mode cannot be enabled so for that what you have to do is go to about section tap build number seven times once you see you are a developer go back go to developer option and under this you need to change default usb configuration so from here select file transfer and now you should have file transfer mode working on your device and this was a quick look on this room now moving on to the installation part to install Lineage OS 16.0, make sure first of all your device is running on Android P. So we have two official builds available that one is Hydrogen OS and the second one is Oxygen OS. Both are in the form of open beta. So before installing that, make sure you have any one of them available on your device. So let me show you on my device. As you can see, it is running on Oxygen OS open beta 2, which is based on Android Pi. And before starting with the process, make sure to take a complete backup of your device. And also make sure to download these files. One is the Lineage OS 16.0, Magis 17.1, Google App Package that is ARM64 9.0 Pico Package, 
TWRP recovery 3.2.3 that is blue spark recovery and TWRP recovery blue spark installer. So download all these files and place it under ADB folder. After that go to your device about section. Tap build number 7 times until you see you are a developer. Go back. Go to system. And under developer option. I have already unlocked my device and if you guys are not aware about unlocking the device then you can check out the video given in the description below. Then I will also enable USB debugging from here. Once you are done with that, now you need to boot your device into fast boot mode and then we will flash TWRP recovery. To boot into fast boot mode power of your device, once the device is powered off hold volume up and power key together. And here you can see device state is unlocked. So now first what I'll do is I'll flash the blue spark recovery. For that I'll connect my device to PC. Once my device is connected to PC, I'll go to the same folder where I have placed all these files that is TWRP recovery image, TWRP installer zip file, Google app package, lineage OS and magic 17.1. Now I need to open command prompt here. So you can hold shift and right click to open up command which will give you an option of open powershell here. Instead you can also use address bar, type cmd here and hit enter. That will also open up command prompt. Now first we will flash the recovery image. So copy the name from here and type fastboot devices to check whether your device is connected in fastboot mode or not. And it will show you some serial code. That means your device is connected to fast boot mode. Now again type fast boot boot followed by the recovery name and also add .img after that as it's an image file. Hit enter. Now your device will boot into TWRP recovery. So after your device boots into TWRP recovery swipe to allow modification. Let me reduce the brightness first. Now I'll go to home screen and moving on to PC, I'll copy all the required files inside the internal storage. Copy all of them and place it inside the internal storage. Once files are placed inside the internal storage, try to locate them. So here you can see I have all the files available. First I will flash the blue spark installer zip file. So I have to confirm flash. Once you are done flashing this, go back to the home screen. Reboot recovery now and once again when you are back into recovery now go to wipe, advance wipe, wipe everything from here excluding internal storage and USB storage. Swipe to wipe, go back to the home screen, go to install, now flash the lineage OS 16.0. Once successfully flash, go back to the home screen, go to install and now again you need to flash the blue spark installer zip file. Swipe to confirm flash. After that go back again to the home screen. Go to reboot and now you need to reboot recovery. Once again when your device is back into recovery now go to install and flash the google app package. After google app package if you want to root your device you can install magisk or else you can just go to reboot and reboot system. The device will take around 3 to 4 minutes to boot up but it will give you an error of internal problem. Just ignore this message and complete the initial setup and you are good to go. So guys this was a quick look on lineage OS along with the installation process. If you still have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.